Hey everyone, this is just another short video of my ongoing Metroplex project. As you can see, I've attached the right arm and I've transformed the upper body to give you guys an idea of what some of the transformation is going to look like. If you want to see what the transformation for the legs looks like, I have a previous video on YouTube where I transform the right leg into all three modes. I've got some paintwork done on the left leg and a little bit more assembled on the left leg. Still a lot to go there as well. And like I said before, I'm redesigning the arms so that there's a even more transformation that you can do for the battle station mode. Now, let me come in here and get an idea how big he is with me here beside him. So this comes out right here. This building here, these guns are a little loose, but they do because they're meant to slide right out. Anyway, this collapses down into his uh, chest, this building here, this building collapses down into his uh, center torso. Now, if I take some Dr. Wu figures for scale, um, I also, I don't have some of the, some of his panels aren't installed right now, so we've got these little helicopter decks and they go in uh, various places, like here and here. That's too small. I have a longer one here for that. But here it is. They're just um, loose for now until I'm finally done and I'll glue them on the place. So if we have Dr. Wu Starscream, just for a scale comparison right there, I think he has, no, I don't have his landing gear down, hold on. Don't mind the mess, because I'm out here in the middle of uh, putting this all together. I can't get that in. Oh well. So, I'll put him there for scale. We've got uh, Dr. Wu Optimus Prime. So we can, we'll set him in here for scale. With this trailer. Uh, we have Soundwave. We have Power Glide. All Dr. Wu figures. Guys, feet properly oriented here. Power glide. Okay, so I also have one of his uh, blasters printed up that I designed. There's a left and a right to this. There's also a big blue or a big, sorry, red rifle I have designed but yet to print. So the gun right now is in uh, its mode for when he's holding it. But if we take this handle here and we collapse it forward, snaps into place, uh, crank up the barrel and there's a little peg here that comes out and we've got these ports in the shoulders and he's got his guns. So now let's take a beach comber here, put him here. So that gives you an idea of what some of the transformation is going to be look, going to look like, at least in base mode. Uh, the other arm is all part, as I said, I'm not going to put it back together until I've printed my upgraded components, and it will go right here, up here. And these guns rotate, they go up and down. Um, and you see these guns can flip in, there's a building inside there, so they all flip in and the building can appear. This will flip in and a building can appear if you don't want the guns there. What else? When you pull this building up, there's a little panel inside that closes, that's a filler for the back. And in his crotch, in the back, and I'll bring the camera around, I'll show you that there's a, another bay called the lower hangar. And there's a ramp that comes out, and you can put characters up, or your figures up in there as well. Um, I, uh, where is that? So, bear with me. Oh, here it is. So, the final revision of this will have interchangeable plates for here. This 
this center portion is my first revision of it, so I don't have that option. But I did make a plate that I'm going to be gluing in place there. So I'll just set it in there for now, because I'd like to have it look like a command center there. So let me take the my phone off the mount here, and we'll go in for a closer look at everything. Again, you guys get an idea of scale here with me standing beside uh, the big guy. So we've got our gun here on the side. I still got the side hip skirts to install. I need to find some longer screws and what I have. They require a two and a half inch, six thirty seconds. So we've got that there. You see this comes out of there. And then you've got the lower bay here. Because when he's all transformed, this is going to be on the ground. You can see in there some of the details. And he has an ab crunch, a nice ab crunch. And uh, you got all these details that get exposed when he... And I have a panel here that comes out. I just didn't have a, a tool to get it out. So we'll, we'll do that in a minute here. So a little hanger there. And it just tells you that it's a hanger. Hanger B and hanger A is in there comes out. I'll take that out in a second. Okay. So let me pause. I'll pop that hanger up. We'll take another look at it. Okay. I've got this other bay open now. You see it's a uh, hanger A. A figure there for scale. We got these two sections here you can put figures. And again, as I said in the previous video, I have this right leg. I completely transform it in all three modes, so you can check that out. I'll put a link in the description of this video. So, that's it so far. Again, I'm going to be running out of plastic again soon because I redid both arms. Because uh, I really want to do something different with the transformation of these buildings, especially in the battle station mode. I don't want them just sticking out like that. And I wanted to cover up the hands in the battle station mode because they were visible before. So I've made all those changes and I'm going to implement them in the arms uh, going forward. You can also see in this arm here, I don't have it um, engaged because the ratchet is strong enough while it's straight up. But there is a locking pin here. That comes out and it locks this arm in place right there into that slot so that when it's transformed into a building it's not going to rotate back or forth but so that's it for now uh, stay tuned until next time uh, hopefully i'll have both arms complete and i'll be able to showcase a finished version of this guy uh, and go through the transformation in all three modes until then